What's up guys, back to another kind of super video. In today's video, I'm gonna help you guys pick who you should get with your character selection ticket. So, I know a lot of people have been saving for the Chris banner, and of course, a lot of people have gotten you know, various luck. Some people aren't, you know, unfortunate enough to not get Chris and have to go to pity. Others got Chris right away and, you know, close enough to pity that they just feel like, I don't know what, might as well keep summoning. Other people are just still summoning regardless because it's probably one of one of if not the best banner that we've ever gotten and there's a lot of actually really good options for the pity ticket so of course to get this you have to do 25 multis it's kind of a lot 75k however if you've gotten here i feel like most people who are someone on this banner know that chris is the best unit in the game so you would some you'd obviously want to pick her however if you've watched my veneer summons, you know that sometimes you you get the unit that you were looking for the multi before pity. Then it's like, okay, well, what else should I use with my ticket? Because fortunately on this banner, there's actually three, I wouldn't say unfeatured, but three characters who are returning who are actually still on the ticket. I'm really glad they did that. And I'm here to tell you which one. So number one, obviously should be Fast Chris herself. If you don't pull her, she's definitely the best option to pick out of these ones. Yeah, you know, she just team agility buff, cooldown reduction, physical down on her basic, really good ults. Not much else to say. Next up in line would be the legendary Aqua. Legendary Aqua has a attack and gauge up EX skill, which is good for if you just don't have anyone else, just throw an Aqua. She has a basic that heals. She also has a cooldown reduction and she has a minor boost to super gauges. Plus, her ults are pretty good. She either boosts her own agility with a light attack, or she can cause minor recovery for all allies by doing water magic damage, which is funny because most of her attacks are physical, and then also lowers their physical defense, which is really good. Like, this is like the dungeon unit. If you have this unit, dungeon is just, um, you can fall asleep halfway through it and still beat it. So I would say she was the second best. The third best, in my opinion, now, this might be a bit controversial. It's actually Darkness. Now, Darkness can't hit anything off rip until you get her Mask ult, which you have to get um, through the node that if you go up on the hidden potential, there'll be a ult path, and that's where you get the Mask from. But overall, her skill is really good. One, she heals 100 with every action taken. It's an EX skill. Then you have boost to physical defense. You have a physical defense for the whole team and a boost to her super gauge. And then you have a modern boost to agility for all allies. That does more damage if she's lower on HP. This attack can hit pretty hard if she's actually really low. And then, of course, you know, mask ult. She pretty much just has her mask constantly up because of how much of gauge she gets. And also because it takes a less amount of gauge to use. So very nice. She's really, really good on light teams. And if you have her and Aqua, you can pretty much just hit auto and win for dungeons. So that's very good. Next up is fourth place. Now, funny enough... <laughs> with almost a no-brainer is the last legendary character which is Cosma. not saying he's bad but he's definitely less universal as chris is going to be on like every team another man aqua is almost on every team another man darkness can be used in dungeon and light teams and then Cosma's pretty much just stuck to lightning but he is going to be outputting so much damage he does more damage as debuffed he lowers defense um boost to his agility and then he has the cosmos snipe which is really good fills up fast and lowers their agility and then his ex skill is just more attack than normal plus his art's sick you know look at him go killing the dragon easy only thing that sucks about him is he's pretty much just limited to lightning but he's still really good now if you have all the characters or like me who builds cosma and then you know imagine if i pulled chris on the way haha <laughs> Megami and Yunyun the only ones left. I feel personally, Megami is going to be way more useful as she's just re-zero, in a sense. Uh, the, the magic um, attack boost is just to her, but she does do a bit more damage than her, as her multipliers are higher, thankfully, because of her HP restriction. 
And that's pretty much it. She's not like a must. Like, if you don't have her, obviously you're gonna want to get her. I don't I can't imagine you be getting a dupe of a legendary character over a brand new character. But she's not a must have. Yinyan, unfortunately, is worse than her just because she doesn't do anything crazy besides, I guess, gauge charge. And the next collab, which I know is a long ways away, but she gets replaced. So even if you do pull her, you're not going to be using her for that much longer. Um, that and she, I mean, personally, I don't think I, I've been running her on my Earth team, and I feel like she just is kind of there, not really doing anything. Um, Megami is definitely a better choice, and Megami won't get replaced until pretty much a year um, whenever they decide to release Halloween, I'm assuming normally would be, you know, a month or so before Christmas or a month or two, depending on how Kazu wants to do it, whenever we get around to that, because of course, as you know, this Halloween celebration was a bit wonky. So, Megami just, you know, is relevant longer and it's just better. So unfortunately, Union is probably the horse you can pick, but I'm not saying, obviously, if you have every character here and you go to, and you're like, okay, well, I'm a couple multis off pity or your last multi on pity, you get a character you want, definitely just grab Union just to have her. I'm sure she's going to have some use, but overall, that's pretty much my thoughts on this. Let me go over it one more time. First off, best character to get is Chris, then Legendary Aqua, then Legendary Darkness, then Legendary Cosma, and then finally the Santa Megami and the Santa Yin Yin. Now with that, I hope you guys have better summons than I did. I mean, I think I still did pretty good, but hopefully you guys get what you want. Hopefully if you go to Pity, you aren't too upset with that fact. I'm actually going to end this video off with using a bunch of tickets. I recently updated my character's um, uh, shards, or whatever you want to call them. Um, Hang on, these things, boom. Potentials, there we go. I There's so many uh, like-minded um, grids or power-up systems in other games. I know, I've played Dokkan and they call it Hidden Potential and they have orbs. This game is Potential. There's so many different variations of this in gacha games. It's hard to keep track of what is what if you play so many. But anyway, I upgraded some of their Potential and got a bunch of these tickets. So might as well use them in the video, you know? I could pull something cool. Um, I mean, a four-star would be cool in the three-star tickets, but really I'm only looking for Maid Leah, as I don't have her. And at this point, probably Miru, as I have Cosmo now, and I could pretty much just have, like, a really good lightning team at that point. Other than that, there's not really much. I mean, the, I wouldn't mind having some of the back... Line units such as Butler Cosmo, but no, not like something too crazy that I'm looking for. Yeah, for these tickets, all right. But anyway, let me know if you guys would like another updated video on the potential grids. Nothing much has really changed from the last one, but that is okay. I didn't have her, she's not like super useful. But I think she has okay. Well, she at least she has a trait, so that'll that'll be good for the fire Pameko if I still ever use her. So we take that, we take that, we take new characters. New characters are always a W, just like Midlia Mitsurugi. Do I have that one? I do, I do. I pulled him. I pulled him. Unfortunately, I went from having missing like half the Mitsurugis to having all the Mitsurugis. So I think it's kind of funny. All right, can we get another new character? Mia, it's the main one. Ah, that unit is very, very bad. Very bad. All right, last one, and then we'll end the video. Um, let's hang it off with a bang. Darkness, of course. And it's Donson. Okay, well, <laughs> that's probably one of the worst characters in the game. Like, poison resistance, and then she. Minor boost to magic and then it's called magic defense. It's like okay, and then this one's like a minor heal, but she doesn't have any attacks. That's a character. Anyway, that'll pretty much be it. Hope you enjoyed the summons at the end, and hopefully that helps you guys pick your units. If you already did it, you know, 
I do apologize if you picked one that was lower on the list, but honestly, if you pick what you like, you can't really go wrong with that. But other than that, I'll catch y'all in the next Kunisuba video. Don't forget to like for more Kunisuba content. I'll catch y'all in the next one.